Hi guys, Mr. J here, and today we're going to make some artwork inspired by the book Matthew's Dream, written and illustrated by Leo Leone. In the book, Matthew dreams of becoming an artist, and eventually his artwork ends up in the Mouse Museum. So we're going to make some artwork in his style, and I've got a special secret trick. We're going to make it with just one line. You ready? Let's go. So Matthew's artwork is a lot of shapes and colors, but we're not going to do a lot of shapes and colors. We're just going to make one long line that swirls and curls all the way around town on our paper. And you guys can use pencil, marker, crayon, whatever you want. I'm going to use a black Sharpie so I know it shows up. And I'm just going to make one long squiggly line. It goes all the way around town on my paper. And it might swirl and curl and zigzag, but what it won't do is scribble scrabble. Even though it's just a swirly, curly, wiggly line, we're not going to have messy spaghetti artwork today. We're going to take our time and just guide our pencil or our crayon all the way around the page like that. All right, and I think we've got a pretty interesting design. Now the next step is we're gonna add some color. So I've got my handy dandy box of crayons here, but you guys can use markers if you'd like or colored pencils. And all we have to do is this line that went all the way around town on our page made a lot of interesting different shapes. Some of them more geometric like triangles and circles. Some of them a little more like blobs or what we call organic shapes. So I'm gonna start looking. And I've got this cool shape right here, and I'll just color it blue. Just like that. Just like a coloring page. And then maybe I'll do one or two more shapes in blue before I switch. This little triangle shape. Mm, and maybe this little triangle shape over here. All right, that's enough blue for now. Let me switch to whatever color you want. I've got purple. So I'll take my purple crayon, and I'm gonna color this in with my nicest coloring. But if you get out of the lines a little bit, not the biggest deal. Because whatever you do for this drawing is gonna be special to you. So I've got a nice little purple there. Maybe I find another shape and make it purple somewhere else. And we're going to keep doing that in every space in between these lines. All these different shapes, some of them geometric shapes that we have a name for, some of them more organic shapes that we maybe can't think of a name for. But we're going to fill them all in with different colors until we have the whole page filled up. So all we do is keep going and filling in every space in between this line. And it doesn't matter what colors you pick, whatever feels good to you. And in a few minutes, I think I'll be all the way finished. One more loop. Almost there. And voila, we're finished. All right, how'd we do? Was it good enough for the Mouse Museum? I really had fun with mine. Now, if you wanna do a little extra bonus decoration, you can do things like lines and patterns on top of your colors. Maybe you wanna add a couple of polka dots. Um, that's all up to you. 
But if you like it just how it is right now, don't change a thing. All right, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you next time.